In this video, we talked about how we solve the equation involving sets. Root 12x minus root 5x equals to root 3. First, you need to collect the like terms. Do we have a like terms over here? We do. Because both share the unknown of x. So those are the like terms. When you collect the like terms, you group all of them at one side and the rest of it, you put it at another side of the equations. So in this case, we have already collected the like terms, so check. Now the second step would be whether you can simplify it. Root 12x minus root 5x, can you simplify it? Not rightly. So if you can't simplify it, then you have to factorize it. Go for the highest common factor, that will be x. By taking it out as the highest common factor, what is left, you put it within the brackets, we have root 12 minus root 5 equals to root 3. So you have factorized it. And the next step will be expressing x as the subject since you are finding the value of x in the third form. So we have to move this to the other side. Since it's a multiply, when you move it over, that will be a division. You have root 3 over root 12 minus root 5. Can this be the final answer? No. Because you have a set form as part of the denominator, you have to rationalize it. In order to rationalize it, you need to know the conjugate sets for the denominator. And in this case, the conjugate sets will be root 12 plus root 5, and you do the same thing for the numerator as well. Just a quick recap in case you forgot what conjugate sets are. Basically, conjugate sets are the, is exactly the same thing with an uh, opposite sign. This is the concept of when you have a minus b times a plus b, you have a squared minus b squared, the difference of squared, if you remember this. So in this case, if you do that, there will be no more square roots and you have no more set form, hence rationalizing it. Let's check what we have. At the bottom, since I know that is a squared minus b squared, I just have to put in the value of a and b. So I have root 12 as a and root 5 as b. What do I have on top? I have root 36, that will be 6. I have root 15, can I simplify it? No, simplest. So I have root 15. So I have 12 here. 12 minus 5. Square root of square. So cancel off each other. You have 7. Okay, maybe I shouldn't skip it. So I have 12 minus 5. This will be my final answer. So I'll repeat one more time. First, you collect the like terms, if it's possible. You simplify it, else you factorize it. Rearrange so that x is a subject. Check whether you need to rationalize it. Let's have another look on a second example. Okay, let's do this one. Once we have a look, remember the steps. We, the first step will be collecting the like terms. Do we have a like terms here? We do. And it's on different sides. In order to collect the like terms, I will move this to the left hand side, hence changing the sign. Minus 2 root 3x equals root 5. Okay, so you have collect the like terms. Can we simplify it? Root 17 minus 2 root 3, not really. So you factorize it. Pick up the value for x. Is what you have. So check. Rearrange so that you have x as the subject. You have to move this over. Okay. Check whether you can rationalize it or not. Is there a need or not? Yes, we do. Because as a form as a denominator, figure out the conjugate sets of it. Same thing, just different sign. All 
All right. A square minus B square. This is your A. And this is your B. We have root 85. Can you simplify it with it? No, not really. So you have root 85. You can use your calculator to check whether this is the simplest version of sets. And we have 2 root 15. Right. So I keep the same thing. What do I have at the bottom? 17 minus 4 minus 12. Okay, so my final answer would be root 85 plus root 2 root 15 over 5. As long as you don't have any subform as part of the denominator, this is the simplest version. Okay, so you can't simplify this further, you can't simplify any further. This is the final answer. Okay? So I'll show you two examples. Um, sometimes when you need to solve equation involving sets, it doesn't go in this format as well. Sometimes you have to solve simultaneous equations involving sets as well. Let's have a quick look here. Yeah? We have this and this. So we have 3x minus y equals to 5 root 2. We have 2x plus y equals to 5. In order to solve simultaneous equation, you can either go for substitutions, elimination, and graph sketching. In this case, let's talk about eliminations. In order to do eliminations, you need to make sure the coefficient of x or y, either one of them, it must be the same. Okay? So when I pay a closer look, I realize that, oh, y and y is the same coefficient, 1. Huh? You have the same coefficients, you just have to pay attention on the sign minus y and plus y. In order to eliminate y, to make it disappear, do we go for negative y plus plus y, or do we go for negative y minus plus y? Think about that, okay? How do we eliminate it? If you're really not sure, you can actually remember, try to recall and remember all these signs, all these rules. When you have the same sign, say it's plus plus or minus minus, you go for additions. Equation 1 plus equation 2, if you have the same sign for the coefficient that you are going to eliminate. If you have a different sign, say it's plus minus, plus minus. Oh, sorry, it's the opposite. So sorry about that. When you have a same sign, you go for subtractions. No wonder I find it so weird. When you have a different sign, you go for additions, okay? Same sign, plus plus, minus minus, you go for subtractions between equation 1 and equation 2. When you have a different sign, then you go for additions, equation 1 plus equation 2. In this case, we have a different sign, so we go for additions. So I have equation 1 plus equation 2. By doing this, you see, minus y, plus plus y there's no more y that's how you eliminate it okay um, and but keep pay attention on these parts 3x plus 2x so we can continue from here we have 5x equals 5 root 2 plus 5 can't do anything just drag it out list it out so we have 5 root 2 plus 5 and then do we stop here no what you want is x so express x as a subject and you will have to divide this whole thing by 5. Okay, so you have root 2 plus 1 as the answer for x in cert form. Okay, 50% because you need to figure out the value for y. Same as the linear simultaneous equations. Once you have the value for x, you can put it in in equation 2 or equation 1 to find the value, corresponding value of y. Which is easy. No, it's the same thing. So I choose to put it back of equation 2. I will have 2x plus y equals to 5. What I want is y, and I know that that will be 5 minus 2x. By replacing the value for x with this, 
I'm going to substitute it. I'm going to replace it. And then I will have to replace this. Okay. And then we finish it. Five minus two root two minus two. And final answer, three minus two root two. So your value for x and value of y. This is how you solve a simultaneous equation involving sets. Okay? So same first thing, make sure you have the same coefficient. If you don't, please, you can, you can either multiply the whole equation with a constant or divide the whole equation with constant so that you have the same coefficient to do eliminations. When you have the same sign, you use subtractions. When you have a different sign, you go for additions. I'll give you one more example to enhance your understanding. Okay, probably this one, C. So I have 3x plus y equals 6. And I have 4x plus 3y equals to 8 minus 5 root 5. So when you have a look on this, do we have any same coefficients for x and y? No, not really. So you need to do something to make it the same coefficients. Mm, I will multiply this by 3 so that it will become a 3y here, same coefficient. And once I do that, then you have 9x plus 3y equals to 18. Okay, so you have changed equation 1 to equation 3. That will be equation 2. Now that you have the same coefficient, 3, 3, you have to check the sign, plus, plus. So you have the same sign. Do you go for uh, addition or subtractions? Same sign. You go for subtractions. So when you have, when you have 3y minus 3y, that you have no more y's. So we go for subtractions. 9x minus 4x. 5x. Right, this is the part you have to be careful. I'm not going to skip steps. 18 minus, make sure you put a bracket for this. You will know why later on. 18 minus bracket 8 minus 5 root 5. Because when there's a negative sign here, you're going to change something here. Right? So you have 5x equals to 18 minus 8 plus 5 root 5 equals to 10 plus 5 root 5. And divide the whole thing by 5 because what you want is x. So x equals to 2 plus root 5, 50%. You have the value for x, you put it back to either one of the equation, equation 1, equation 2, or equation 2 to find the value of y. So I think it's easy to put it back into 1. So I have 3x plus y equals to 6, y equals to 6 minus 3x, because you need to find the value for y. Replace your x with this, substitute it, you have 6 minus 3 bracket or 2 plus root 5, 6 minus 3 root 5, oh, then you have just negative 3 root 5 as a one answer for y. Okay, so uh, it's very similar to the typical simultaneous linear equations. I hope by now you can solve simultaneous equation involving sets. I will show you more example on how to solve equation with sets in the next video. Thank you.